Charlas de la noche. Palabras con imagen. El análisis de los acontecimientos que influyen en nuestra vida con el periodista Francisco Durán Rosillo. Frank Durán Rosillo eh, te saluda y los saluda a todos ustedes, su amiga María Celeste Raraz, para invitarlos a que se suscriban a mi canal de YouTube. María Celeste Arraraz, tal como mi nombre, donde les informo todas las semanas eh, sobre entrevistas que tienen un tema que ayuda a mejorarnos como personas y de paso son interesantes. Las pueden encontrar en mi canal de YouTube, así que los espero. Y se suscriben gratis. Hi, my friends. Good morning. It's after midnight and... I would like to bring you a very brief comment. I don't understand that midterm elections have early voting process, already has one week running, but several states are still having debates between the candidates. <laughs> If people already vote, What's going on, America? I love your democracy. I already voted. So, is something weird? Is something to enhance or weaponize the power behind some candidate? I'm not sure. But what I would like to ask you as a big favor is Don Josh candidates by the labels placed by the political propaganda that is built triple. In politics, uh, American television don't say anything because this is the best time for commercial sales or, or all open and pay. TV stations, cable and, and open broadcast television. Why? Because they are selling a lot of propaganda and behind the ad of the Republican is coming the Democrat in the uh, same way. Everybody is making money except you, the voter. You are the most affected person on this political game. Please don't fall on that situation. I'm not telling both for this or that candidate, for this or that party. What I would like to ask you, do a fair judgment. Read the timeline of every person behind. Read if they gave you already a working plan. If not, is something to start to think. The other thing is, please analyze how many ads on the streets, on TV, on the billboards, on radio, uh, everywhere have each candidate. Because after the pandemic, after the most question election after Donald Trump sued several states for saying that they steal his votes. Some candidates are not justifying the money they have from contributions, the money they have on their personal account on expense or spending money like running water on propaganda in advertisement. I don't understand that. So give me a hand. If you are a member of the Democratic Party, Republican Party, Libertarian Party, Independent Party, whatever, give me a clue. I don't understand. Nobody likes to talk about that. Nobody is auditing. And I believe that the electoral authorities has to audit 
the contributions. There is a website that says how much money every company that I gave, every person, and there is a limit for it. Now, I'm talking about the money underwater, the money that could be part of a laundry money from the drug cartels. Think before you decide. America is very important. I have Native American roots and I love America. And as I say to an interview to the Atlanta Journal Constitution, when they ask me, because I have dual nationality, like many Americans, the ambassador of USA in Mexico, Mr. Ken Salazar, has dual nationality, etc. Many prominent people. And they ask me if Mexico and US break diplomat relations, which country will you stay? My answer was I compare this like with a divorce. Not necessarily because parents divorce, kids are not loving father and mother. Mexico is my mother because saw me born. USA is my father because makes me strong. And I love America. Lord bless America. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Durán Rosillo eh, te saluda y los saluda a todos ustedes, su amiga María Celeste Raraz, para invitarlos a que se suscriban a mi canal de YouTube, María Celeste Raraz, tal como mi nombre, donde les informo todas las semanas eh, sobre entrevistas que tienen un tema que ayuda a mejorarnos como personas y de paso son interesantes. Las pueden encontrar en mi canal de YouTube, así que los espero. Y se suscriben gratis. Escuchaste el análisis de la noticia, transparente como el agua, con el periodista Francisco Durán Rosillo.